Welcome back to the Atham Homestead. I purchased and wired up an Intermatic PE723P. This is a Wi-Fi controlled network, app controlled pool pump timer. A couple hundred bucks. I had problems wiring it, so I'm gonna do this little wiring schematic here to the best I can. I had to call Intermatic, uh, talk to Ken, don't talk to anybody else. The first guy I talked to decided that I was out of my element. I am your typical homeowner, I wanna upgrade my stuff, and then I wanna pay thousands of dollars to do it. So I purchased this myself and installed it, and then I had problems wiring it. I bought the two pump system here. This is the schematic for it here does not give you very good, in my opinion, very good information for the basic homeowner. Now, if I'm a wire guy, no problem. I'm not a wire guy. In case you're wondering, doing wires is not how I cut off my thumb. So I'm gonna to attempt to draw the schematic out that can help me do via the telephone after I wired it the wrong way. I'll put the wrong wiring in the little box down there so you can see what I did wrong. So I have a secondary schematic I've already drawn out here so I can copy it. It's not very easy. So I have two wires coming off my 30 amp. I have a black wire and a red wire. Now the wire schematic has the L2 and L1 labeled different. It has L1 on this side and L2 over here. On the actual box itself it's opposite so I drew it on like the boxes here. So to start with, he had me take my black power wire out of my breaker and run to the L2 side. And then I had my red wire out of the other side of the breaker running to the L1. For ease of install, we, had, we ran the L1 to COM1. This is power in for your pump power. This powers the box, L1 and L2 powers the box. Circuit one, circuit two, COM is what powers, power goes in and then comes out the normally open when the power goes in to close the circuit to send power to the pump. So then we jumpered L1 over to COM in. And then we jumpered L2 to COM1. So like I said, power comes into the box here, goes to the relay system, and then when the pump turns on, it comes out of L2, powers the relay, which intent, which turns on normally open, makes it closed, which sends power to the pump. So that's how you get power to the circuit. Now we have to get power to the pump. Now we have three wires obviously coming out of the breaker and out of the breaker box and out of the pumps. The ground wire, which we just kind of drug over here out of all three, and we just wired them together because the ground wire is grounded inside the circuit breaker box. Next we had to take pump power. So this is the same, I guess it isn't the same, this is where I got thrown for a loop, it didn't really have, it took me a while to understand it. So we take the main pump power, this is our pool pump, that's great. And this is our booster pump, in my case. You could have two pumps, doesn't make a difference, they're both pumps, they both take 110 in my case. So we took the first pump wire out of the pool, main pump, and we ran it into L2. Now you got three wires going into this. You can make a jumper wire as well. You can use a wire nut into, and go into one wire if you want to. Um, I was able to get all three of the wires inside that screw housing for that L2. And I just did it wrong. That one's supposed to go to L1. Okay. And then we take 
I hope this doesn't confuse you too much. So pool pump breaker goes into L1. Out power for circuit two goes into the other side of the main pool pump. So I'll give you a picture of the other schematic I drew because it's better, but down below. Uh, so main pool pump goes into L1. Other side of the pool pump goes into circuit one. One wire of the other pump goes into L2. And the other wire of the other pump goes into circuit two, normally open, like so. You try to use the same colors for the wiring on the pump because the pumps will be the same. You can wire this pump to that one or that pump to this one, doesn't make a difference. And that's where it kind of confused me was why I was going to L2. Perhaps L2 is circuit two, but power to power one, I couldn't understand any of it, but hey, everything works. So one wire of the power for the pump goes into L1, the other wire from the pump goes into normally open circuit one, and then your ground. For my boost pump goes into L2, goes into circuit two power out, or normally open, and the ground. And everything ran. This is an incredibly simplified drawing. I also had a freeze protection piece I put on this, just a little sensor that goes outside, it has two white wires on it that come off of here. I drilled a small hole in the box, ran the wires up in here, and then it sits outside the box to get actual outside temperature. According to Ken Intermatic, Ken's awesome, by the way, at Intermatic. He said that if the freeze protection bulb stays inside the box, it can get temperature compens or what's the word? Uh, the temperature can be messed up because of the heat created off the circuit board when the pumps are on. So make sure that your freeze protection is outside the box. They give you a little circle with a hole about the size of this pen to run two number 16 wires through. So it's wide open, and in Texas we get dirt daubers. And they'll make a house in there, a bees, wasps, whatever. So I drilled a number or a 30 second, 5 32nd hole through the hole, and then I ran the wire in there. You can cut the wire to whatever length you want. I left it at the length it was because I was concerned about the impedance. I thought maybe it had to be that length, but Ken did say you can cut it whatever length you want. So that is an incredibly simplified way to wire up the pump for the Intermatic. This one right here. So here's my other drawing without pictures, without squares and boxes on it. All right, if you have any questions, obviously don't ask me. <laughs> uh, comment down below, call Ken Intermatic. Uh, if you get the guy that tells you you're out of your element, uh, I guess he doesn't understand that homeowners are trying to improve their house and this is what he's gonna have to learn to deal with, so. Like and subscribe down below. Look below for all the stuff I used. My other videos installing it. Half them out.